Fox Carolina is your school station and starting today, as I mentioned, new requirements kick in for all South Carolina schools. Students now have to wear masks and there will be more spacing between students in that classroom. It all comes as school leaders try and slow down the spread of COVID-19. Fox Carolina's Lindsay Gibbs is live this morning with details from parents as well as school officials. So Lindsay, you got to pack a mask if you're going to wear if you're going to ride the bus, it sounds like. Yeah, that's right. And we've spoken to a lot of parents this morning. Some of them don't think that this is going to make a difference. Well, others think that this is a great new step because they don't know where other families have been, where the children have been. So it's a good measure to have is the kind of the consensus that we've gotten from a lot of families this morning. Now we're outside of Malden Elementary School. A lot of kids are being dropped off here this morning. Those buses are having to go around back to drop off those students here. But starting today, schools across South Carolina are adding two new efforts to fight the spread and try to keep kids in the classroom. The South Carolina Board of Education is requiring students to wear masks on school buses. Now, this will reduce the number of students that will be affected if one tests positive. We looked into the number for the Greenville County School Districts. Since August 16th, a little over 600 cases have been reported of COVID-19. Since last Monday, that was the biggest increase with 156 cases reported in just one day. And we looked deeper and found the majority of the cases are coming from elementary schools. DHEC is also increasing the distance to six feet for students to be considered a close contact to another who is COVID positive. Starting today, close contact students are required to quarantine unless they are vaccinated or if both students, the positive and the close contact student, are masked and six feet apart. And we talked with parents this morning about the new guidelines. Take a look at, uh, take a listen to what one woman tells us. Being that children come from different environments, all of them go to different schools, you never know who they've been around. And a lot of people, you know, they are asymptomatic to it. So I feel like it's the right thing to do. Now, this is happening in schools all across the state, not just here in Greenville County, but we did talk to a lot of school officials here. And coming up in the next half hour, you'll hear from them about these guidelines. Back to you.